Ocarina of Time is my favorite Zelda game. At least 3D Zelda. The Link Between Worlds is probably my favorite 2D one. Which is probably blasphemous. Blasphemous to people who like the Link to the Past better. Wow. I judged the distance of those lasers correctly. What's in this treasure chest? A compass. There we go. Now I can move onward. More Lizzlefos. I see. Is this a Dinofos? Is it the mask? It wasn't any harder though. Okay, that's a dino place. <laughs> Not that it really mattered. You can kind of just button mash combat in this game for the most part I'm sure we'll eventually find some worthy opponent though Why was this guy being more annoying about blocking my shield bash? There we go. Those guys are slightly more annoying than the regular enemies, but not by enough for it to actually matter. Ah, the fence was a little bit too high. Alright, now we can move on. I'm definitely not going to be making it a point of mine to get all the treasure chests in these dungeons. I'm not sure if it's more convenient to use a claw shot to kill these guys or just slash at them. Probably easier with the claw shot because the targeting system is actually pretty decent when it comes to these guys. And there's some more spiders here. Whoa! That was weird. I need to stop moving when treasure chests are appearing. Okay, let's see what's in it. Better be important. 50 rupees. Sure is important. And we have a little bit of a puzzle here. Time to tip the scales, as a Fire Emblem character would say. Don't really need to worry about the actual puzzle here until later. Ow. This 
spinners are a little bit annoying, but we don't really have a reason to deal with those ones. Wow, two for one sale. And what's in here? Small key. So that one we actually needed. Oh! Nice. So far, so good. Are these Armos going to be alive as well? Probably. Fifty rupees. Die. I like how they go crazy when you kill them. Like, I'd be freaking out too if I knew I was gonna explode. So, fair enough. Good thing I have a small key. And this is a mid boss, it feels like. Because of how dark it became. Atmosphere is always the same for mid boss rooms. They make it fairly obvious. Hello. We finally have an intimidating enemy. This thing is, I think, a dark nut. Duh, duh. Ah! These guys get a little bit more annoying when they actually... take off their armor. But you need to stun them. Not too much more annoying. But he actually hurt me. How dare he? Let me guess. The dungeon item? The Dominion Rod. Green energy. That's interesting.
I like how in this game they make up for the fact that there was no temple of time or temple of light in Ocarina of Time. Why are light and time so intrinsically linked here? Nice. Don't need to care about much of anything anymore. Ow. This thing takes care of these guys so much easier. Wait a minute. I have an idea. That's one way to do things. Ha! Who needs to actually be careful during this part? I wonder if I can destroy the giant axe too. Nope. This thing is powerful, but not that powerful. I think I know what I need to do. Yeah. Tiny statues have a purpose finally. Okay, the camera really doesn't like me dragging that guy like that. These puzzles aren't too hard. Uh oh. I thought I'd be swallowed by a bell. And here we are, the room where this actually becomes somewhat of an interesting puzzle. <laughs> what we need are plenty of these weird statue thing. Uh oh. Come on, these spider guys are back. <laughs> 